So, Microsoft Loop has been released, and I know a lot of people who are wanting to dive in and start using it. But a lot of people are going to the sign-in page, and they're entering their Microsoft 365 credentials, like this. Just enter the 2FA. And they're getting this message here. Just click on No. They're getting this message here. The Loop app is not enabled in your organization. So, with that in mind, how do you enable the Loop app in your organization? Well, to do that, you've got to go to the Microsoft 365 portal and you've got to log in as admin. Now, I'm logged in as admin here. You can see that there's an admin tab. Firstly, I go into there and I need to create a security group to allow Loop access. So, I go to Teams and Groups, Active Teams and Groups, and I go over to Security and I click on Add Group. Now, I choose Security from here and I click on next. I then give the group a name, so I call this loop members for access, something like that. Doesn't matter what it's called as long as, long as you recognize it. Click on next, click on next again, and click on create group. Now that group will be created, so just refresh here. Make sure the security tab is highlighted scroll down and you can see that my group is here so I'll open it up now the first thing I need to do is give it a group owner so because I've created this I will add myself in here click on myself and click add okay just click on the back arrow now this group at the moment has got no members so it's got an owner which is me but it needs members so everybody that you add into this group will get access to Microsoft Loop later on. So I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna add myself again, even though I'm the owner. So click myself, click add. And again, add anybody else who you want to access Loop. Once that's done, if you just open a new tab and type in config.office.com and it'll take you to the Apps Admin Center. Click on Sign In. It should sign me straight in because I'm signed in here as admin. Again, you need to be in as admin. Click on Customization and Policy Management. Now, what we need to do is create a new policy to allow Loop Access. So we click on Create, and we call this something like Loop Access Policy. We click on Next. We leave this the same. But in here, we need to add the group that we have just created. So if I just, there we go, it's there. Click on Save. So we're creating a policy, and everybody in this group has access to this policy. So click on Next. Now in here, we've got 2,206 policies to look at. To make our lives a little bit easier, just go to the search bar and search for loop and you can see here we've got three loop policies and they're all set as not configured so we simply go into each of them click enabled click apply we've got to do it for all three just come out of that it can be a bit temperamental sometimes uh, enabled apply enabled apply click on next click on create Click on done and you can see that that policy is there. Now you might just have to wait a few minutes, an hour, a couple of hours for this policy to click in. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to quickly pause this video and I'll wait a little bit of time and then I'll unpause the video and show you if this policy has worked. So I've waited about an hour, I've come back to loop and it's going to ask me for my credentials again. So I'll put them in there. It's going to ask me for 2FA. Enter the magic code. I don't want to keep it signed in. And now it's signed me into Loop. So that is how you enable Microsoft Loop in your Microsoft 365 tenant.